talking about today. So I know all of you, or many of you that are that attending this particular session, you're working within an organization. And within every organization, whether para, whether government para starters or, uh, or private establishment or, or NGO, uh, every organization uh, has vision, mission, values, and the organization as well is being governed by a set of guys, right? So, and I know you know that. And again, you know as well that every organization has the day-to-day -day side and every organization has the change side, which is, which is basically what we call strategy. And we're gonna be talking about the ideas here. So you can see the ideas there. That is our main objective for today. So every organization has those two sides. So let's start with the day-to-day -day, uh, side of the organization. The day-to-day -day side of the organization is uh, normally partitioned into silos. So you can see quite a number of silos there based on functional uh, departmentalization, but that's not the only way to departmentalize an organization. That, that is just an example of how organizations are departmentalized uh, in order to be able to provide uh, products and services to the customers on a day-to-day -day basis. So every organization has a customer, whether internal customers or external customers, even the government, uh, I mean, the governmental organizations, they have customers and we are the customers. I mean, the citizens, we are the customers that they are serving and in return for money. So what we call the money in business is, I mean, we call that sales or revenue. And likewise in government as well and NGOs, we call them revenue as well. You know, government makes revenue uh, through taxes. So no organization can survive without money. And the guys ruling the organization here, I mean, the senior or the executive management guys, they are always on the lookout for profit or loss. Because if we uh, take away the cost we incur in delivering the service from the revenue we make, then we then know whether we make profit or loss. So it's very, very simple. There is nothing big about it. But the fact that we make profit today does not mean that we're going to make profit tomorrow. And you may be thinking, oh, what about government? Do they make profit? Yes, government does make profit as well. Why or how? Because, I mean, by doing more good, by creating uh, more jobs, by uh, I mean, fixing more roads or building more schools or building more hospitals. You know, all of these are the profits that government can declare uh, at the end of the year. So everybody is looking for more money uh, in order to do good and reduction of the cost of governance. So whether in private, public or NGO organization. But let's just leave that. That's just to provide a, a little context to what we're talking about, that every organization out there, we're always looking for ideas to increase our revenue and reduce our cost. So, and that's where the ideas come in. So every, every day, the senior management guys are always thinking, how do we get ideas to uh, reduce our cost and increase our revenue? See, and that's where strategy comes in. So those ideas, we go into what we call portfolio. You know, so we have a portfolio and I'm gonna be showing you a little bit more about that. Uh, then some of the ideas will be combined together probably because they are related, related by different factors, probably related based on location or related based on function or related based on uh, whatever product or services. You know, so they can be related based on many factors and within the portfolio or program, uh, we then have projects. But you see, project, program, or portfolio, all of them together, they are just ideas to bring about change to the way we serve our customers, right? That's, that's the entire stuff, okay? And when a project finishes, because a project is a unit within a program or within a portfolio. And when we then finish, uh, when we're done, uh, no audio over here, okay? Uh, I think somebody's struggling with the audio. Let me just confirm, right? Um, Host, can you hear me? Uh, just to be sure yeah, that. Uh, hello? Yes, I can hear you. All right, fantastic. So please, can you help me? Uh, uh, yes, get across to somebody struggling with voice. Uh, probably the person may need to uh, log out and then log back in. All right, so let's continue. You see, so within an organization, right, we need ideas to uh, improve the services or improve the products that we're delivering to our customers. And those are normally handled as projects. And when projects uh, finish, we then deliver the outputs 
to the operational side. That's the BAU side. That's the day-to-day -to side. And then our internal processes will change, our internal people will change, or our product will change, or the way we even deliver the product will change. Possibly we used to deliver the product face-to-face, -face, and now we're then going to be delivering the product online, you know. So uh, all of these are called changes we normally could have started, uh, could have started from the, uh, from the idea, you know, from the